Well, good day, everybody. It's Sunday morning, and it's a cloudy day in Albuquerque, but it was warm overnight. There's kind of a storm front coming in. Not a cold Arctic blast, but more like rain in Albuquerque, snow in the mountains. Anyways, I'm heading out to Michael Thomas Coffee down in Knob Hill in Albuquerque. We're going to meet the film photography group for our monthly meeting, and uh, I use it as an opportunity to show some camera gear and also give some away, give some old cameras or tripods. There's some extraneous gear that's cluttering up my house. It's a good opportunity to trade it out, give it to somebody else that can use it and have fun with it. So I have a number of plastic Holga cameras I'm gonna try giving away, an old kind of low-end tripod and another little point-and-shoot, like a Kmart brand point-and-shoot camera. So give those away, so let's get going. It's interesting how uh, city streets in the wintertime start to look real grungy. Because of the snow melt and you get the grungy black slushy snow on the curbsides and the around here we don't use too much salt on the roads but they use like sand and cinder. It's kind of a reddish sandy gritty stuff and it gets all over everywhere. So. Yeah, the streets look kind of dirty, and you know how winter is. The trees, the deciduous trees are all dormant, so everything looks kind of dead and gray. But that's kind of the fun part of winter is having those seasons. It would be terrible living in on the beach in Southern California, wouldn't it? No, I'm being sarcastic. Well, Knob Hill looks a little empty on a Sunday morning, and it is not so busy. Head down here to our coffee shop, our little parking spot. Actually, I'll go down one more. Right here. So we're at the film photographers meeting. Everybody wave. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm just doing a little vlog here. We're at Michael Thomas Coffee. And we have cameras and photographs and prints. A little overexposed. This was my Instax wide. So you can't really see the artwork. You'd have to darken it somewhat. But it actually got the table fairly nice. Yeah, so we're going to spend a couple hours here geeking out on photography. Well, we had a great meeting here at Michael Thomas Coffee. We had a really good turnout for the New Mexico Film Photographer Society and, and uh, a lot of sharing. And look, we have a whole table full of used coffee cups and everything. And there's also typically kind of a gear exchange. Somebody brings an old camera or related photo gear. And I brought some cameras to give away and other people brought some stuff. So everybody had a good time and we're really excited about this group. We're getting a lot of interest in it. So. It was great, it was fun, until next month. It really reminds me that I need to get off my duff and uh, start doing more film photography, at least more printing of some kind. And uh, I think I want to do some like pinhole with direct positive paper and maybe even try caffeinol uh, developer, coffee developer like one of the members of our group does. Yeah. So this is Keith Henley. This is uh, the uh, owner of the Guild Cinema in Albuquerque and uh, just happened to meet up with him here at Michael Thomas Coffee. Keith, what are you going to be doing here? Um, Drinking coffee? Uh, Drinking cocoa? Have cocoa and uh, maybe uh, take some notes for a me meeting I got to go to. You know, I got to be all adult-like and stuff, you know, so <laughs> even on and, my day off. And how's the know? old Van Cleve typewriter still running? It is yeah. running. Yeah. The, the, the Don and Joe show. Yeah, <laughs> my, my brother, uh, we, we, we have a long-term loner of our family, Hermes, uh, what is it, Hermes 5, yeah, I think it is, the electric it's typewriter. It's a badass typewriter, it's a yeah. Badass typewriter. It's a badass typewriter. <laughs> it's not a manual like no, Joe here likes, but, but it's, it's an electrified. It's an electrified. It's electrified. It's quite yeah, sweet. It yeah, is, it's, yeah, it's nice craftsmanship, yeah. Well, very yeah. cool. I'll let you get you going. Yeah. It's nice seeing you again, Keith. Yeah, Thank okay. you, man. Well, I watched a little football when I got home, had some lunch, and now I'm going to go down to Kevin Kittle's house, and we're going to do a little bit of 
typing, typewriter action, planning for next week's gathering, the kickoff gathering of the Albuquerque Typewriter Society. So. Oh, I'm down here at Kevin's, and hey, we got ourselves a dining room table full of typewriters. We're going to be doing a little bit of planning and strategizing and for the meeting next week, and also we're going to design a form, a membership form, to be typed on typewriters, etc. So here we go. We got some typewriters set up here, and we're going to have some typing fun. Yes, I'm typing out the Albuquerque Typewriter Society registration form. Ah, and... So the reason we're typing is because obviously we use typewriters to write with, and so we can use them also to fill out forms. And then the uh, once I've created this form, then I will have the uh, people that are registering for the Typewriter Society uh, give them instructions so that they can create their own registration form and then fill out their registration form all with a typewriter. <laughs> So that's the goal with all of that stuff, and so we've come up with it's a little you know, exercise. A little exercise. People using typewriters in a in a old-fashioned way, I guess you could say, yeah. but also in a new-fashioned yeah, way. Yeah, that's cool. And so we have the information about invis people and all that stuff. So what I'm doing on this part here is, is filling out the form, writing this number of spaces and things for them to type on and stuff like that, so that I can make the instruction sheet. Very cool. Thank and you. So that way we don't have to use a computer printer to write a registration <laughs> yeah. form. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Well, it's the next morning and had a good time at Kevin's yesterday afternoon. We got some good planning done. I wrote out a piece uh, pertaining to kind of a almost a two pager, well, a full, full page, two column thing on our meeting agenda for next week's kickoff of the Albuquerque Typewriter Society and uh, questions that we might have for the group. Was there interest in typewriters, et cetera, et cetera, and a lot of just ideas like that. Kevin worked on the uh, membership form and he's gonna have pre-typed forms and everybody just types their name and contact information. And we were also brainstorming a little kind of a logo for our society. And we kind of hit upon the idea of using just TypeScript uh, to make our logo. And this was an experiment done with a two-color ribbon on, on the, uh, I think it's a Silver Seiko typewriter that Kevin had. The Imperial Gemini, which is a, a typewriter that has a built-in transistor radio in the case. ABQ, so ABQ, that's Albuquerque, right? And then the Q is part of QWERTY, so AB QWERTY Typewriter Society. And we're using type and writer or two purposefully separate words because we're trying to emphasize both being aficionados of typewriter collectors and also trying to promote the art and craft of writing in our society. And we are a society. We would hope to be a society. And then we've done these little underlines, parentheses, and moving the carriage back up one line and another underline. So it's kind of the capital letters, the beginning of each word are surrounded by these little circles that might represent keycaps, right? A round keycap of an old style typewriter. So that's kind of our logo that you can do with a, with a bichrome ribbon. So I'm real excited about our kickoff meeting. Uh, tomorrow, which would be Tuesday, we, Kevin and I hope to meet over at the coffee shop in the morning and get our some final things uh, set before next Sunday's meeting. So in other news, um, there's a local school teacher who, no, who contacted me last week and he's interested in getting a typewriter for his classroom and also perhaps one for himself. So we talked on the phone yesterday and I've kind of decided that what he probably needs is a 5 series Smith Corona and I have a couple of those in my collection. I also have a 6 series Galaxy 12 so I'm gonna offer one or more of those for him to decide on taking and he's going to meet us next week next Sunday at the kickoff meeting of our Albuquerque typewriter society so I hope to see him and uh, hopefully we can get him set up in a typewriter and this reminds me I need to mention that one of the real inspirations for our uh, fledgling little typewriter society in Albuquerque is Austin typewriter Inc and if you haven't been listening to them they have a great podcast that they've been putting out and 
I have learned a lot and gained a lot of knowledge and, and also gotten inspiration for other for ideas for what we might want to do with our society based on what they're doing. One of the things that their society is doing is they are doing a letter writing campaign to veterans, to service members overseas uh, using typewriters. I think it's a great idea. And I also see uh, similar ideas that we could do, uh, for instance, outreach to schools, classrooms. We could do presentations on the typewriter about typewriters and maybe also senior centers seniors love uh, i think they love the memory of the typewriter from their earlier years and we might be able to do stuff like that which would be a cool thing to do oh look i have mail so one of my christmas presents was this jigsaw puzzle that's camera themed and i sat here last night later than i should have uh, working on this jigsaw puzzle my wife and i both and Got it. Pretty good start on it. I think we might get this thing licked here in a day or so. So while I was at the New Mexico Film Photographers meeting yesterday, uh, one of the guys was giving away some black and white magazine issues and I happened to grab one. So this is always fun to have and to look through and see the great work other people are doing. But wait, there's more. I was, I took my Fujifilm 210 camera which is getting out of the bag here which is the instax wide format camera that's the older camera and um, i like these little three by five file card boxes that you can buy at the office supply store because you can store your little instax prints in them and i have a number of prints that uh, pictures i took at the meeting to uh, scan and put online on Flickr. So, anyways, everybody kind of enjoyed this, uh, having me having this camera, and a lot of guys at this meeting had not had the opportunity to uh, play around with Fuji Instax or see the quality of the picture, so it's a good opportunity for them to see that and see how it works, and uh, who knows, maybe we have a few converts to Fuji Instax. Okay, this is Joe Van Cleve, and uh, this is not a vlog. You guys have yourselves a great day, and stay creative. Bye-bye.